after the Civil War, the Great Migration to the West began. Almost as soon as the last shot was fired, veterans of the North and South started West. These men had had a belly full of fighting. What they wanted now was a new chance and a new way of life in the West. Most of all, they wanted peace and quiet. Of course, things don't always turn out as planned. However, the West produced a breed of man equal to its problems. Heroes. It's hard to say just what makes folks think a man was a hero. He could be tall or short. He could have blue eyes or brown eyes. He could be a man like Wild Bill Hickok, who shot it out in Dodge City and Deadwood with some mighty tough characters. Or a hero could be an outlaw like Jesse James, who liked to rob trains and banks and shot anybody who tried to interfere. They're all of them so different, there's only one thing I can think of they have in common. Which is why I'd just as soon stay the way I am. I make a point of staying out of arguments. That's because of my philosophy. Peace. My name's Destry. I spent time in Texas State Prison. I was framed, and since I was released, I've been trying to find the man who framed me. just isn't possible. You take what happened when those three renegade Indians caught me alone that time. I tried to explain to them that I regarded them as brothers. Two of them refused to listen. And the one that was left either didn't understand, or he sure didn't want me for a brother. Pretty sorry shape. No gun, one boot, no horse. Maybe we can fix that up at the first store. I sure will be glad to be out of this here rock garden. Get back into civilization. Me too. I've been in it quite a while. Well, we might as well mount up. Okay. What's the matter, 
water, that's three. I'm a peaceful man. Peaceful man's got no business in Slipknot. It's a tough town. Well, I'm not going to fight it. I'm, I'm just going there to pick up my inheritance. In Slipknot, Mr. Jones, you won't oh, pick up... Oh, call me Clarence. Why? Well, that's my name. Oh. Well, that's another reason why you shouldn't go there. What kind of an inheritance? Well, my brother Bill, rest his soul, had a little spread down there. Worth about, oh, 15000 And you intend to settle there? <laughs> Where are your guns? Oh, I don't hold with guns. Don't approve of violence. Clarence, you saved my life a while back, so I figure I owe you something. I'm going to give you a little advice. Take this horse and point him right towards Nebraska. Why should it? Let me put it to you this way. Four or five years ago, a gambler named Carnes moved into Slipknot with a bunch of gunmen. Took it right over. Now, since that time, only about one man's died of natural causes in Slipknot. And he died of pneumonia, complicated by a bullet in the lung. Well, I reckon if my brother Bill rest his soul like Slipknot, I think I can get along there. Clarence, how did he die? Don't know. All I know is I got a wire from the town sheriff named Slater saying that Bill had passed on. Slater? Yep, I thought I'd look him up and thank him for being so thoughtful. Clarence, Ace Slater is only the worst gunman to come down the pike since Billy the Kid. Now, I'll lay odds at 20 to 1 that if your brother died and slipped out in the past few years, Slater killed him. Ah, uh, who'd want to kill my brother? Ace Slater's been known to kill people for a sack of tobacco. Stale tobacco. Clarence, don't go to Slipknot. Well, I just can't do that after what you told me. You're really going? Of course I am. Well, I guess I can't let you go by yourself. But believe me, my friend, they'll eat you alive in Slipknot. <laughs> Clarence, would you do me a favor? Yeah, I'd be glad to. Next time you see me drowning, let me drown. rightly see how that could be. Well, a gambling debt is legal tender around here, mister. Bill Jones lost the place to Mr. Carnes at poker. The same fellow owns the saloon? Pretty near everything else around town, too. Uh, a word of advice, Mr. Jones? I wouldn't go stirring up any trouble over this transaction. Well, is there any reason why I should? Well, now, there is then that says that when Bill Jones was shot... <laughs> Morning. Uh... Morning. Morning, Sheriff Slater. Fine day. I'm A. Slater. You two got business in Slipknot? Well, we were just... Are you Sheriff Slater? Well, I'm certainly grateful to you, sir. Why? Well, my friend means is... I'm talking to him, mister. This here is Clarence Jones, Sheriff. He's from Omaha. So? Well, you sent me a telegram. Why, yes, I did. Bill Jones' brother, right? Rest his soul. Fine boy, Bill. Poor poker player, but fine boy. If he'd known how to handle his liquor, he'd still be alive. What are you doing here, Jones? Well, Clarence just wanted to tie up any loose ends, Sheriff. Well, we take care of our own loose ends, mister. You from Omaha? Nope. Just traveling with my friend here. His name's Destry. Any relation to that Abilene Marshal, Tom Destry? My father. He's dead. I keep a very tight town here, Destry. Anything I hate, it's a loose town. I had a run-in with Tom Destry once. Mr. Slater, I make it a point of telling anybody had a run-in with my pa. I tend to take after my mother. Well, in that case, welcome to Slipknot, gentlemen. I'll see you around.
strange attitude for a sheriff. Eddie Slater would figure to make a pretty strange sheriff under any conditions. Well, if that's all now, I got work to do. That's all, thank you. Come on, Clarence. Desperate? Come on, later. Destry, something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Yeah, things don't smell so good around here either. Well, you get back to Omaha, Clarence, and, and thanks for the horse and duck. I'll send you the money for him. Not going back, Destry. Clarence, you saw that Slater fella. He just assumed Killia's look at you. You heard what the clerk said. Something is fishy. It's all legal. And if your brother was having to run a bad luck, Destry, none of us Jones boys ever drink or gamble. Paul wouldn't stand for it. Well, maybe that's why your brother moved to Slipknot. This isn't exactly Omaha, you know. Well, what's honest there is honest here. Clarence, I can see I'm going to have to tell you the facts of life. Oh, ain't nothing you can tell an old farm boy about them. I guess I should have said the facts of staying alive. You know, I talk better on a full stomach. So do I. Let's get ourselves a few steaks. Just what I have in mind. Right, now, maybe your brother was swindled and murdered. Could be. It's all down in black and white and legally registered. Carnes owns your brother's land. And arguing with Carnes is arguing with Slater. And you argue with Slater only as a last, and I mean last resort. I'm a good citizen, Destry. Not a slipknot, you're not. American citizen, this is America. I have to do my civic duty. Your first civic duty is to stay alive. Well, I'm going to find out what happened to my brother. If he was cheated, if he was murdered, I'm going to bring somebody before the bar of justice. Clarence, in slipknot, A. Slater is the bar of justice. Justice will triumph, Destry. Oh, come on, Clarence. Never saw the man in the poor for doing the decent and honest thing. I've seen a lot of them the debtor for it. When your cause is just, nothing can happen to you. Clarence, I knew a fellow once used to say, a simple faith that right will triumph is what keeps Boot Hill a profitable real estate investment. And you're just trying to be cynical, Destry. I know you and I can count on you. You cannot count on me. But I like you, Destry. And I like you, Clarence. That's why I'm giving you this advice. Forget it. Go home. That's a coward's way out. Some of the oldest men I know are cowards. No, I'm not going to have your blood on my hands. I'm moving on. I advise you to do the same. You don't have any money. A little honest poverty never hurt anybody as long as they were able to enjoy it. I might have fifteen, eighteen thousand dollars one day. If you were to help me, it might make it worth your while. Well, that's kind of a low blow. I already owe you my life. Right. I'm Austin Carnes. May I sit down? I just wanted to extend my sympathies to you on the occasion of your uh, recent bereavement. That's kind of you, sir. I was very fond of Bill. I guess everybody was fond of Bill. How come somebody murdered him? The evils of drink. Oh, speaking of the evils of drink, why don't we adjourn to my place and I'll buy one for you? Never touch it. Good for you, sir. Neither did my brother. Oh? What if I give you that idea? As a matter of fact, not to speak ill of the dead, mind you, but your brother got to hit in the jar pretty hard there for a while. People do change, Clarence. Clarence? My, my. Well, sir, drink was your brother's downfall. He gambled away everything he owned, even that nice little ranch of his. I hated to take it. I bet you had to force yourself. He owed me a lot of money. I had to give him a chance to get even. Unfortunately, he lost. Mr. Carnes, we've all heard about uh, his brother's bad luck at gambling. What we don't know is how he was killed. Well, now, that's a sad story. After he lost his ranch, he started going around making all kinds of accusations. 
What kind of... Unfounded, I bet. Exactly. Unfounded accusations. Finally, some of the people he had offended had to swear out a warrant for his arrest. And Sheriff Slater served it. Tried to. But poor Bill Jones. Fine boy, but a bad shot. Tried to shoot the sheriff. Shame. Well, gentlemen, if there's any way I can be of service to you... Mr. Carnes, you're a liar and a thief. What did you say, sir? You stole my brother's ranch and had him murdered when he complained. Mr. Jones, I'll give you until 8 in the morning to get out of Slipknot. Or you'll stay here forever. Well, Clarence, if you had taken a four-year course on how to ruin things, you couldn't have done it better. That man's a scoundrel. I wouldn't be surprised. A blackguard. He also happens to give orders to the most dangerous gunman in this part of the West. You're not scared, are you, District? Worry's a better word. I was hoping you'd live to collect your inheritance. When you're on the side of right and decency, nothing can happen to you. I think I'll go down to the saloon and get a drink. The evils of drink. The worst evil of drink right now is that I need one and don't have one. Well, if you feel you must, go ahead. I feel. i got to find some answers to some questions anyhow. Good. While you're at it, ask one for me. Namely, what's the quickest way out of this town? Mr. Carnes would like to have a little talk with you. You don't mind. Mind? No, there's nothing I like better than a talk. Then you'd better do a lot of it. You might not get another chance. Hired muscle? You figure to get cut in on Jones' swindle? Oh, nothing like that, Mr. Carnes. You see, Clarence saved my life a while back. Well, when I heard he was coming here, I kind of tagged along just to keep him out of trouble. You're not doing a very good job of it. Well, Clarence doesn't understand how things are done around here. And you do? Oh, yes. Around here, we connect the name Destry with a badge. Well, if it makes you feel any better, you might check with the warden at the Texas State Prison. Spent a couple of years with him. Guard? Yes. What were you in for? Nothing. Well, that's what they all say. Matter of fact, when Clarence pulled me out of the river, I was looking for the fellow that framed me. Name of Charlie Bent. Ever hear of him? You know, I figure I can get along with a jailbird like you, Destry. But that big mouth friend of yours... Oh, I'm talking to him. I reckon I can get him to go home. You don't have much time, Destry. Mr. Carnes wants him out of town by morning. Oh, I can do an awful lot of talking overnight. I like you, Destry. You've got the right attitude. You're not nosy. Met a fellow once who said that uh, long nose is dandy for smelling. Makes too good a target. He was a smart man. But if Jones does any meddling in our business, I'll have to kill him. Oh, I wouldn't be in too much of a hurry, Mr. Slater. He did save my life. Destry, you go out and have yourself a bucket full of drinks on me. Ace, is that Amy treats him right? Well, that's mighty kind of you, Mr. Carnes. I didn't realize Slipknot could be so nice. Slipknot's a very friendly town, Destry. For them who know how to get along.
What are you doing prowling around here? I figure I might ask you the same question. Figure on doing a little hunting? You answer my question. This is my place. Oh, no, it ain't. This place belongs to... Hey, you look like... Is your name Jones? That's right. Poor Billy's brother? That's right. I'm John Bigelow. Well, sure, you're Billy's neighbor. Live right across the valley. Only, uh... Only what? Well, Billy told me about you. Said there was some trouble coming up, but between him and John Bigelow, you two could handle everything. Only Billy told me he was big and tough and scared of nothing. Well, I wasn't scared of nothing until I seen what happened to your brother. What did happen to him? Ace Stater said I should keep my eye on this house and not allow no trespassing or else. You're trespassing. Well, that depends on how you look at it. Well, I'm looking at it the way Slater told me. I got kids, Jones. I want to be around to see them grow up. Why don't you do us both a favor and get out of here? You're an honest man, Mr. Bigelow. A fellow like yourself's got nothing to be afraid of. Eh? I knew an honest man once. Lived right in that house. Wasn't afraid of nothing. He's buried up on the hill. Now get out of here and get back to Nebraska where you belong. I'll tell you what, Mr. Bigelow. Just as soon as I make up my mind where I truly belong, I'll go there. <laughs> find anything as pretty as you in this town. That you're gonna ask me what a nice girl like me is doing in a place like this? No, uh, I don't ask questions. I just try to get along. Like in the cafe when that country friend of yours spouted off at car? Heard about that already. Huh? Everybody has. Ace, that fella Jones been asking all kinds of questions around. Like? Like how many people ever saw his brother drunk or playing poker? And people just can't stand lip. Foggy, you and Stan think you can handle him? You a friend of Mr. Carnes? I work for him. Well, I didn't mean anything. Uh, just that, well, being a stranger in town, I... Oh, I got nothing against strangers. Fine. As long as they're rich strangers. Is that lets me out. Uh-oh. Isn't that your friend? <laughs> sure is. He coming in here? Well, if he is, probably to deliver a lecture on the evils of drink. Why don't you watch where you're going, stupid? Oh, pardon me, gentlemen. <laughs> Hey, that's pretty funny. I'll bet you do that to all the newcomers. Just the big, dumb, stupid ones. Yes, I am pretty big, all right. And dumb. And oh, stupid. No, please, mister, don't do that. Please, mister, don't do that. Well, now, look, I'm asking you boys not. What's the matter? Don't you like being pushed around, pal? I surely do not. Well, ain't that a... Say no! Destry, is this beautiful young lady Miss Amy? Sure is. Miss Amy, uh, I've been told that you were with my brother the night he lost his ranch to Carnes. Oh, uh, I'm with a lot of men every night, Mr. Jones. Call him Clarence. Why? It's his name. Really? I didn't know Clarence's came that big. Uh-oh. Oh, hello, Sheriff. Nice, those boys were asking for Shut me. up. Oh, that's no way to talk to a lady, Clarence. Sheriff. You're gonna come quietly, Jones? Come where? Jail. Jail? Why? 
Well, you're not going to resist arrest now, are you? Go with him, Clarence. Go. Oh, I couldn't do that, Miss Amy. Slater, he's unarmed. Not so much the worse for him. But I'm not. You want to draw, Destry? I already have. I got my gun pointed at that shiny belt buckle of yours. I wonder how it'll look with a hole in it. I thought you knew how to get along. Well, like I told you, Sheriff, he saved my life. I owe him some favors. Now, what'd you go and do that for, Destry? He would have shot you, Clarence. Like I'm going to shoot you, Destry? You can try. I'm not as easy to shoot as I may look. Sooner or later, I'm going to find out. You think you can outdraw me, Farmer? Not likely. Reckon you can outkick me? Everybody stay quiet, and everybody will stay alive. All right, Clarence, let's get out of here. I, I'm not through talking with Miss Amy yet. Will you please get it through your head? Nobody around here plays by your rules. Tell me, Miss Amy, what, what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? Well, I guess I've just been waiting for a real man to take me out. Well, I hope he comes along, Miss Amy. Will you get out of here? I know you're trying to help me, but don't you believe it. I'm trying to help myself. Oh, you can say that, old buddy, but I know better. How did you manage to get so dumb in such a small number of years? I don't reckon I'm so dumb. What you did to Ace Slater, why, a mad dog has a better chance of getting out of this town alive than you do. Well, I guess you kind of helped me along with him. Don't even say a thing like that. You want to get me killed? Destry, you know, between you and me, we could make slipping out a decent place again. Clarence, if you're dead set in getting that land back, let's go to the Capitol and talk to the U.S. Marshal. That's the way to do it. My daddy always told me us Jones boys can stand on our own two feet. You ever see a dead man standing on his own two feet? Destry? Hmm? Why do you suppose that beautiful young lady, Miss Amy, works in that awful saloon? I'll get it. Stay back there. Oh, Destry, stop your friend. Yes, sir. Mr. Jones, I'm Dr. Forbes. I Doctor, got... stick around. We may need you. Uh, I'm a dentist. Well, I'm uh, Clarence Jones, sir. Oh, Mr. Jones, it is a pleasure and honor to shake the hand that clubbed Ace Slater. Now, you may not believe this, but there are a few decent people in Slipknot. Well, I never doubt it for a moment, sir. You know, we have been looking for a man like you that... Uh, you too, Mr. Destry. A, a man with, with courage and honor to stand up for law and order and honesty. We... Forbes, will you get out of here? Now, hush up, Destry. Uh, go ahead, Doc. Uh, well, some of us have sort of been collecting evidence on Karn and Slater, just waiting for the chance to use it, and we figure that you've given us that chance. You sure you're not just a local undertaker trying to drum up business? Oh, no, I'm a dentist. Uh, now, we're waiting down in my office, and we sure hope you'll help us, gentlemen. Well, of course we will, won't we, Destry? No. Uh, well, my uh, friend likes to have folks think he's a cynic. Uh, he's not. He's just modest. Now, uh, uh, you go ahead and take a nap, Destry, and I'll go down and talk to the folks. Did you know Jose Slater when you roughed him up? Sheriff, ma'am. Only I got an idea he's not a very good sheriff. Oh, he 
He may not be a good sheriff, but he's a very good killer. That was very foolish of you, Clarence. Well, I don't see how doing the right thing is ever foolish, Miss Amy. He murdered my brother, didn't he? Whether he murdered your brother or he died of old age doesn't make any difference. He's dead and you're alive. Up to now. Oh, I reckon I'll be around quite a while, Miss Amy. My grandfather lived to be 103 and... then the horse he was breaking fell on him. Clarence, I'm only trying to do you a favor. Carnes will have to have you killed. I told you, Miss Amy, I can take care of myself. I think you could, Clarence. Oh, I think you could take almost any man in a fair fight. But Ace won't give you a fair fight. He'll have to have you shot in the back just like he did your brother. Miss Amy, you knew about my brother, didn't you? Yes, I... I know a lot I wish I didn't. Poor critter. And just wait till I get this mess straightened out. The only thing that's gonna get straightened out is Clarence Jones in a great big oversized pine box. back yet? Why? You've got to stop him. He's been one. I got a sore throat from warning him. Look, I can't wait here. Are you going to see him? I don't even know if I want to see him. Every time I do, he gets me into more trouble. You don't look like a coward. Appearances are deceiving. Clarence was right, you know. About what? About his brother, Bill Jones. Bill wouldn't drink, wouldn't play cards, and Carnes wanted his ranch. Then how'd he get it? Bill liked me. So one night, Carnes had me sweeten Bill's coffee with laudanum. Well, I guess he didn't have to push me very hard. Anyway, I did it. Bill didn't know what he was doing. I got him into a poker game, and Carnes got his ranch. Then what? Carnes sent Slater to uh, evict Bill. And then nobody knows exactly what happened, but Slater shot him. And the same thing is going to happen to Clarence. You've got to stop him. And you're so interested in the switches as in midstream. I don't know. I've never met a man like Clarence Jones. In spite of the fact that he saved my life, there are times when I wish I could say the same. Why? Just because he's clean and decent and honorable? And doesn't go around killing people to settle his quarrels? Well, you're like all the rest of them. Well, I kind of figured I was a little worse than the rest of them. Well, now, what does that mean? You're not going to help him? Tried to help him. He's not very reasonable. Well, you've got to force him. All right. I'll shoot him before Slater does. It's the only thing I can think of. I hope Slater shoots you instead. At least be brave enough to find him and give him this. It's my confession. It's all in there. <laughs> worry none, my friend Dexter and me will take care of these. But you be hey, careful you now. A lot of good men have died going up against Carnes and his men. Mr. Dexter, come in. Oh, Dexter, I, I knew you'd come. I knew when the chips was down you would help me throw them crooks out of this slip knot. Clarence, shut up. Well, I suppose you've had enough time to talk him into pulling your chestnuts out of the fire. You ought to see the evidence they have, Destry. Yeah, and I got some more here. Probably enough of what you have to permanently get rid of Carnes and Slater. The question is, which mouse is going to hang the bell on the cat? Well, now, see here, Destry. You want Clarence to do it? Clarence, you ever shoot a handgun? Well, I told you, I don't hold with guns. 
Mm-hmm. You're going to send him up unarmed against Carnes and Slater, maybe two, three other gunmen? We're kind of hoping you'd help him. Yeah, me? Right. Why me? Because I pulled a gun on Slater this afternoon. Listen, mister, I had that gun out ready and waiting for him. I just might possibly be the slowest gun in the West. And I'm not going to fight your battles for you anyway. I got troubles of my own. I'm getting out of here tonight. Well, you can't mean that. Don't you put any money on it, Clarence. Now, I want you to come with me. Well, I can't do that. These folks need me. That's, That's right. right. These folks need some guts of their own. I'm going down the livery, saddle my horse. I'll saddle yours while I'm at it. Oh, my God. <laughs> By the way, Amy gave me this for you. She also told me that Carnes and Slate are going to kill you tonight. So you got one more chance. Come with me. Well, you're not going to run out on a fight. Clarence, the only reason I'm running is because I haven't got wings to fly. That man's a coward. Oh, he's a fine fellow, Doctor. Sometimes his character gets a little weak. I'll go down to the stable and talk to him. He won't go away. I know Destry. He's all wool and a yard wide. <laughs> What were you doing in the hotel? None of your business. What were you doing in the hotel? All right. I was giving Destry the whole story of what you did to Bill Jones. You must be out of your mind. You're in that as deep as we are. What's this Destry got that you ain't, Carnes? Oh, Destry. Clarence Jones could take you two and Destry and all the so-called men in this town and eat them up for breakfast. <laughs> what do you know, Ace? Dan Cupid just flew by. How can I ought to shoot him down? Yeah. Maybe we all ought to go over to Doc Forbes' office and see if the better element of Slipknot is still having a civic meeting. You come along too, honey. <laughs> I wouldn't want you to miss all the pretty fireworks. <laughs> Destry, what happened to him? I hit him is what happened to him. Come on, help me. Hey, looks like one of those fellows that had to bounce a little in the saloon. Yeah, one of Slater's men. Poor fellow, looks like somebody's always hitting him. He was going to kill you, Clarence. Is that a fact? Well, what do you reckon he has against me? You're alive, that's what he has against you. Here, take this. No, I don't want it. Well, not yet. Have that. You're going to have to use it if we don't get out of town soon. Come on. Boys, I feel like a new man. Good. At last, we're going to do something about Carnes and Ace Slater. That's so, Doc? That's what you're fixing to do. Why, What do you got in the box there, Doc? Oh, this is some stuff we gathered to keep from falling in the wrong hands, Ace. We, uh, we thought you and Austin might like to burn it or something. Well, that's nice of you, Doc. I'd hate to think you were gathering phony evidence to hand over the law or something. You're the law, Ace. <laughs> that's right, I almost <laughs> forgot. Where's Jones? He went to find Destry. Watch out for those two, Sheriff. Now, they're troublemakers. Well, thanks, Doc. We'll do just that. Clarence, what does it take to convince you? Your brother's dead. Going out and getting yourself killed isn't going to do him any good. Well, name a brother, rest his soul. This little lady. Amy? Sweetest little innocent who's ever forced into a life of shame. Con's girl? Destry? What she says here, I ain't even worthy of her. Clarence, have you gone and fallen for Amy? She says, from the first time she saw me knock those fellows' heads together in the saloon, that she knew I was the man she'd been waiting for. And by golly, I think she's right. All right, now granted she's telling the truth, and that she loves you and you love her. She's still Karn's girl. She's the girl that helped Karn set up your brother so Karn could steal his ranch. Oh, uh, 
Everybody's entitled to a few mistakes. Seems to me that girl's made a life's work of mistakes. Careful what you say about her, Destry. Clarence, assuming you get lucky and get out of this mess alive, you're going to marry Amy? Yes, sir. I surely am. Well, then you can keep in mind all your life that your wife helped Slater kill your brother. Now, that's not true, Destry. You're twisting things around. Come on, Clarence. Let's get out of here. And leave Miss Amy in the clutches of Carnes? She's been perfectly happy in the clutches of Carnes for a long Destry, time. Destry, if you say one more word about Miss Amy, I'm... I'm going to have to hit you. Clarence, you don't even know how to shoot a gun. They'll butcher you. Destry, I ain't a-going. There's no sense you making such a big fuss. I'm going to stay here and marry Miss Amy. That female bandit. I'm sorry, Destry, but I told you not to say anything against the most wonderful woman I ever talked to. In fact, the only woman I ever talked to except Ma. Makes a nice fire, do not it? <laughs> hey, Destry's not in his room. Ace, hey, you sure that letter our little lady wrote wasn't in that box? It was. And Destry or Jones must have it. And they'll hang you for it. <laughs> Dead men don't hang anyone. <laughs> oh. Hold it! We'll worry about her after we take care of Jones and Destry. Stan, you look down there. Come with me, Ace. Clarence. Miss Amy, I've been looking all over for you. Clarence, you got to run now. Well, I rightly don't know why, ma'am. Carnes is going to kill you. <laughs> oh, I doubt that, Miss Amy. Oh, yes, he is, Clarence. Now, where's Destry? Well, I, I'm afraid I'm a little disappointed in him. But uh, there's something I've been meaning to ask you, Miss You Amy. can ask me later. Now, just get on your horse uh, and ride out uh, of town now. I've never now. done nothing like this before, but... I, I'd like for you to marry me. Clarence, if you don't get out of town, I'm going to have to... bury you. <laughs> oh, please, Clarence. <laughs> well, you're really scared, <laughs> aren't you, ma'am? <laughs> oh, you just don't understand. If you and Destry don't get out of town, they're going to kill you. Oh. <laughs> they're going to kill me, too, if they find that letter I wrote. They're going to kill you? Yes. Well, we'll just see about that. Where are you going? I'm going to bounce those boys right out of town. Oh, no, no, you big dumb. They've got guns. Well, i got a gun. Oh, you don't even know how to shoot it. Well, Miss Amy, <laughs> it appears to me that Mr. Carnes and Mr. Slater have been... Murdering and robbing long enough. Now, I may not be a gunman, but I'm on the side of justice. And justice, Miss Amy, always wins. Oh, no, Clarence. Oh, where's Destry? He's in the stable. Oh. <laughs> Destry? Destry, what's the... Oh, Destry. Oh, wake up. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Wake up. It's Clarence. He's gone out against him. Huh? Come on, come on. Huh? Uh, wake up. Oh, what's the matter? Well, it, it, it's Clarence. He's got a gun, and he, he's going to fight Slater and Karn. Uh, come on, you've got to help him. Nice. Nice fella, Clarence. Nice. there. Sir Galahad. Dan, you get over here. I probably won't need you, but let's play it safe. Come on. Well, come on. You can't just stand there. You tell him that I'll wait ten minutes, and then I'm going to go. Oh, you coward! He's gonna get killed! Oh! Oh. Clarence. Cl Clarence. Oh, Clarence. Hey, this guy's uh, gonna be a killer! He's gonna be a killer! Imagine. 
Clarence with a gun. <laughs> Against Slater. Clarence? Against Slater? Get off of the street! Oh. oh, Austin, please! Please wait! No! Don't! Don't shoot him, please! Oh. All right, Slater, I'm giving you the first shot. That's downright decent of you, Clarence. Which way do you want to fall? that question I asked you a while back. Oh, I do! I will! I will! I will! Oh! Clarence, oh. <laughs> you're wounded! Oh, I reckon it's only broken. <laughs> <laughs> well, Clarence, I guess that takes care of that. Well, well, you've got some nerve. I what? Even to showing your face. Well, now, but... <laughs> Destry, like I told you, if Rye was on your side, you had nothing to worry about. But... <laughs> If you had a little bit more moral courage, everything would have been all right. Well, if I were you, I'd just ride on, Destry. Now, who do you think... Folks, I think we found the man to be the sheriff of Slipknot, Clarence Jones! Oh, the drinks are on me! Invite me to their party. Don't bother going for the gun. What happened? Well, Slater's dead, and Carnes is dead, and your buddy's dead. And Slipknot is going moral. Yeah? I better get out of here. Midland, a fair idea. I think I'll do the same. <clears throat> Who hit me? I did. You hit good. Where are you heading? Doesn't much matter. Just looking for a fella. Well, maybe I'll go with you away. Uh, this fella you're looking for. What's his name? Charlie Bent. You ever seen him? No. Just figuring somebody named Clarence, you'd have to go by yourself. If it was somebody named Clarence, I wouldn't be going. <laughs> Let's 
Who's had this way? 